My name is Jasmine Morris and I usually refer to myself as a creative computing artist and educator. You know, I'm like a late 90s kid, so I really saw the transition from analog to like hyper digital. And I think I was always interested naturally about the role of identity. Once I started kind of looking at like the social media movement and gaming avatars, that was kind of my entry point into creative computing. But there was just a sheer lack of representation. I didn't feel listened to, heard, understood, involved. And that's why I kind of want to empower people to make their own things. I've been doing a lot of community-based work, a lot of social engagement, and running a lot of workshops, conversations, talks, and really just trying to diversify the field of computing. I'm now like full-time at UIL, split across two campuses, Central St Martins and the Creative Computing Institute. My job role at the CCI is half teaching and half outreach. So I run a programme called Tech Yard, which is a young people's club. The freedom and the flexibility and the trust that UIL give me, I really do feel that. And then aside from that, it's like a bittersweet like, but I do a lot of campaigning in the university around anti-racism and decolonizing like the curriculum and academia in general. If I could kind of like have a word with myself, with like Jasmine as she was about to move to London and start first year fine art at Chelsea, the first thing I would remind her is that she has to believe in her practice. Another thing I would say as well, if you particularly like coming to study at UAL, is that it's huge and in some ways that can be intimidating. And of course it's confusing, like let's be honest, there's Wimbledon, there's Chelsea, there's Camberwell, which has got the CCI in it. Then there's like Central St Martins, London College of Fashion, London College of Communication, but they are all connected in some ways and I think I'm proof of that because I moved through CCW or Chelsea but then I work at Central St Martins now and I think that it's easy to forget, but UAL is a whole institution. You really are tapping into a network, but I would say that there's as much responsibility, the unit to facilitate that, but also like yourself to find that. My initial passion was sustainability. I moved out of home when I was 16. I've been sustaining myself since then. And then when I came to London, not like the pressure was really on due to like class and like points of privilege that I didn't have. There was a drive to like keep it going in that sense. And then of course, as my practice developed, there was a drive to keep the practice going because I really felt like it meant something. By second year, I was doing a lot with the Digital Maker Collective. It was a lot of kind of supporting like workshops. We did Tate Exchange. It's like a collaborative space at Tate Modern. And you know, I like got compensated by Arts Temps for a lot of the work that I was doing in second and third year. In third year, I was running the Chelsea Maker Space. There was all the fun tech stuff in there, like electronics VR good computers to render on and I ran that space throughout my entire third year and it's a lovely full circle because I now as a staff member find myself employing students through arts temps. As I was graduating there was kind of like speak of this prize, a new prize that the uni were offering, the Pinsent Masons Award. I kind of submitted a digital business, the business plan was to teach tech skills to large institutions and then use that money to fund a social enterprise. I graduated with that award which was a cash prize and a studio space which was as a less privileged student myself and in hindsight on the brink of a pandemic it was like I would say almost life-changing to have something behind my creative practice and also just that validation of knowing that someone believes in your vision.